Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Latara. I have been a teacher on Likashwa for two years now and recently I gave a workshop to the teachers about how to build your personal brand. This workshop was very well received and so here I am to give you those tips on YouTube as well. Uh, there are three different steps so I will break them down into these uh, three different parts for you. The first part is to increase bookings. And how do we do that to uh, get more students to come to classes? Well, relationships are very important uh, with any job, but especially as an online teacher. So you want to make sure that you make your abilities known to your TA uh, and also have a good relationship with the course consultants and study advisors uh, if you get a chance, especially in demo classes. Um, this means that if they are in the class with the student, uh, communicate well with them and let them know any information that they would need to know for their student. Uh, if you can make a good impression on them, they might remember you when the students need uh, help booking classes and they might choose you first. Uh, another thing you can do to increase your bookings is to be active on your center on our social media page. Uh, this will help you connect with the students more and you can share something with them from your life. Uh, for example, maybe some photos or some interesting things that you have cooked. Uh, they are very curious about their teachers and this gives you a chance to talk to them outside of the classroom as well. Uh, like I said, relationships are everything, so you want to form those relationships where you can can. And while you can get to know your students in the center, it's also really important to make a good impression inside the classroom as well. Uh, so for foreign teachers, there's something extra you can do, which is to impress the students a little bit with some Chinese. Uh, you can use some apps like Duolingo or Drops to help you improve your Putonghua. And once you get familiar with it, then you can just use Google Translate and read the pinyin when you need to find a word. They uh, can be very impressed by that. So it shows you are trying to, you know, bridge that cultural gap a little bit and it's very much appreciated. And for local teachers, since you already know Chinese, uh, you can definitely impress the students in other ways. If you have any kind of talent, like playing an instrument or singing a song or even knowing another language, you can show those talents off to the student. They will, wow, be very impressed. Um, another thing you can, go, can do related to the actual class is you can prepare some extra materials. Uh, simple photos related to the topic can be enough, but students also like to learn about special events or special things that are going on in Western countries. So for example, uh, we had May the 4th, which is, uh, we call that Star Wars Day, because May the 4th sounds like May the 4th. And uh, this is shared in social media a lot during that day. So things like that can be very interesting to the student. You can also, of course, talk about some of their holidays as well. Uh, maybe they have some interesting event that they are looking forward to, you can ask them about that, of course. And how about retaining students after the class? Well, if your students like your class, they will want to book your class again, so you really want to make sure you are giving your student enough value. Uh, some other ways you can do that is um, by adding some personalized vocabulary to each class, get to know what their interests are, and uh, ask them about those things over many classes. You can also review words from other English classes they had on the platform, even if it's not with you as their teacher. Um, of course, you can also help them prepare for an interview if that's something that they are working on, or simply have a free talk if that's what they want. Making a good impression also includes a good evaluation, which can include some constructive criticism sandwiched between compliments and encouragement. Uh, along with any new words they learn in class, I like to include the hanzi when I can. It really helps with their note taking so they can quickly see what the word is if they forgot. So that's it guys. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed these tips and that they help you out with building your personal brand on the website. Good luck and goodbye.